It is all about youth sports. He's moving all around me. It's like he was on a football field. Start off excited, then quickly go to sore, frustrated, then tempers flare, and practice fights are everywhere. Hey, that rhyme. So where are the hogs right now? Don't know what the weather was like back home. Don't know anything about low pressure or high pressure. In fact, the only person that could be feeling any pressure here uh, could be the interim coach for Arkansas State University. But I'm I pretty know. sure some line drills in it tomorrow. <laughs> He's going to be paying for it oh, tomorrow, yeah. yeah. Looks like they're having fun out there. <laughs> All right, thank you, Mark. Joining me now, former NFL player Reggie Swinton. Now, Reggie, life's going to be a lot different now for Greg Childs. And yeah. tell me why. Well, he's, uh, he's on the injury-prone side now, right. whereas teams are now looking at him as you know, a guy who can't stay healthy maybe. And now he's got to come back next year, hopefully, and improve himself. And uh, you know, I think he can. Please, if you're getting married out there, allow your man some sort of leeway on what is supposed to be <coughs> your day, not just your day. <laughs> uh, number five, don't get married on game day. Uh, please, wedding time, uh, uh, allow for some sports activities. Make, a, make it a time like early in the morning so you can get out and get to the game. Or see the game. <laughs> wedding uh, early, game later. Number right. four, let the guests bring food. That way we can save on money. What? <laughs> potluck. Oh there you go, gosh. make it a potluck wedding. That's what I'm saying. Number three, all the groomsmen should come out to bad to the bone. Hey, look, if you can come down the aisle to... Dun -dun, they should be able to come down <laughs> to what they want to come out to. Number two, <laughs> hey, we can spend the honeymoon uh, on Lakers tickets. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, the number one thing, make it a quick ceremony. Do you? Yes. Do you? Yes. All right, y'all, let's go eat. <laughs> <laughs> Something for the guy. The short, short version. There you go. That's the short version. Awesome. Yes. I love I'm when Mark saying. Five's got his top five tips. Now the THP Hootons Arkansas football tour, 31 teams, 31 days, continues in win. The Yellow Jackets won nine games last season. And Chris Hill's first year at Wynn. And things should only get better for the Yellow Jackets this fall. Physically, Wynn is the strongest squad in the state, Liz. They entered the 2012 season ranked sixth in Class 5A by Hootons Arkansas Football and favored to win its first conference title since 2006. I think the biggest difference between now and this time last year is their physical strength and, of course, our understanding of our offense and defensive schemes. You know, uh, coming in and throwing the ball at win was quite a change from, uh, from what they were used to, but the kids have done a good job and adapted to it. So, uh, you know, we're really excited heading into this football season. For more on the Yellow Jackets and all 209 high school football teams, pick up a copy of Hooton's Arkansas Football and win at Hayes Food. Tomorrow night, we head back to the bluff, check out the state title contenders at Watson Chapel. Now, in blank stare news, Melky Cabrera is an all-star MVP, putting up Godzilla-like numbers, 346 batting average, 60 ribbies, 11 bombs, and a partridge in a pair of tree lids. The, the Giants have 45 games left on the schedule, and Cabrera will miss all of them. He's been suspended by the league for 50 games, so testing positive for testosterone. In a statement from the Players Union, Cabrera admitted to testing positive. Now on to some good news. Long live the king. Felix Hernandez. The Seattle Mariners threw a perfect game today. It was the third perfect game of the year. 12 Ks, no runs, no walks. Philip Umber of the White Sox did it in April. Matt Cain uh, did it in June. And now the king. Long live the king. So no one got to hit anything? No one got to hit anything. <laughs> Without I mean, the game? If you had been there. Oh, yeah, I know. That'd be another thing. It would have been a whole <laughs> other story. Yeah. All right. There's a difference between what we know and what we feel. We know life has challenges. We feel we can overcome these challenges. Kyrie Neal of Camden, Arkansas, knows all about life's challenges. He's a shy kid. He's a, a guy that didn't talk a lot, but when he got around his buddies, he was always messing with them and kept things going on and stirred up stuff with those guys. Just before his freshman year at Camden Fairview High School, his mother lost her battle with cancer. Carolyn Lewis is his grandmother. His mom brought him up in church, brought him up in Sunday school, brought him up singing in the choir brought him up working in the church. As a freshman, he blended in with teammates and dedicated the season in memory of his mother. But in August, before his sophomore season, another challenge. He complained of back pain after practice, which would eventually turn into a trip to the emergency room. She began to run tests and she said, 
uh, we're going to have to airlift your baby to Children Hospital, say, because we done found some things going on that shouldn't be. And all of a sudden, he just took a turn for the worse. And then they called all the family in, and that's when they found out that uh, he had a stroke. There, doctors discovered Kyrie had a form of staph infection known as MRSA. The infection found its way to the base of his brainstem, leaving him paralyzed from the neck down. One thing I could do was uh, just back up in a corner and just begin to pray and ask God to help him because uh, the doctor was more at all than we were. He was just healthy, talking and laughing, and all of a sudden, he was just out of it. As for now, doctors have done all they can. There's no timetable on just how long Kyrie will fight this fight. Sometimes victory is more than an outcome. It's standing at a stoplight, raising money for a friend in need. The Camden community has responded. Thank you. Thank you, Camden Camden. So did the team. They finished the season 12 and two and runner up in the state title game. I mean, everything was voted to him. And when he came down to halftime, I remember, man, we were so emotional. I mean, it was just like he was there again, like one of us. We put 96 on the hill, I mean, for, so Kyrie could be with us every step of the way, every touchdown. We dedicated the whole season for him. He's already begun in-home therapy. And the sophomore says he looks forward to his junior season. In fact, He's looking ahead to his next challenge. I'm playing football. You want to play football? Is that what you plan on doing? Mm. 